Hello and welcome to the Winter NIS series, the Fix series. So I uh, actually was racing at a time when this was going off for once, um, otherwise I'd be running this more. But uh, we've got a long race ahead of us here at Rockingham. 200 laps, as is uh, the NIS tradition. <laughs> Longer races. So, uh, long-term plans, of course. Whenever you get a long race like this. <clears throat> I'm not so great with uh, hot lap speed here at Rockingham, no matter what car I'm in, but we'll see what I can do here. Uh, kind of weird on the mid-corner to exit there. Damn, David, nice lap. Okay. One more lap. I think this is going to be my better lap, so I'm just going to dive down and compromise the second lap. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can top that. Obviously, you saw that was my all-time best. And this is uh, not even the first time I've been to Rockingham in the 87 car, so that's probably, yeah gonna be what we get. That's cool with me. Obviously very competitive field in an event like this. I'm the number 10. So top 10 would be uh, fantastic this time. But uh, I think just making it all 200 laps would also feel fantastic. And something tells me that not everyone is gonna make all 200 laps. Just the nature of these longer races. You know, something's gotta go wrong at some point. So... Practice pit entry here just a second. I feel like I've been a little bit too conservative with it, but Watch hey, that was pretty good. Fits. Good enough. Should be able to prevent myself from speeding, at the very least. So, we're just going to go ahead and park it. I want to take a look at the tires. You know they're going to be bad. Um, tire wear is going to be bad here. Um, I'm going to try something I've learned by watching guys in the past and do the kind of diamond in the turns three and four here. I'm also going to adjust my volume here for a second. All right, it was a little quiet, so I wanted to adjust that. So uh, I'm going to try to diamond three and four. That seemed to work for other guys in the past. So we're going to do that, and then I've got my brake bias way back, 42%, uh, and everything else is untouched. So looks like... Well, we still got a handful of people either qualifying or not qualifying and not hitting the button. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, we actually tied with someone. That's interesting. Garrett Maids is a name that's not too bad to tie with because he's pretty darn fast, but he might be on his first lap still, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's, uh... Hmm. This guy looks like he probably just wanted to be ahead of the guys that did not qualify. Pretty, or everyone's pretty pretty competitive. Like I said, it's a pretty high strength to field, probably. Uh, high participation, so. And uh, presumably this is top split. So, all things to consider when I struggle to crack the top 10. <laughs> uh, 22 cars in here. I'm actually surprised. I thought there was going to be bigger field size. Normally NIS is bigger fields, but... Uh, that's fine with me. Not much room on this track, so. That's all good. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat. I just uh, I just had dinner, so. Throat's kind of floggy. <laughs> Tyler Hudson, I think he works with iRacing, doesn't, doesn't he? I think he uh, is an iRacing employee, so that's cool. He's got his spotter in there, and then we just, we're just waiting on two people, but we only got 20 seconds anyway, so. We're going to get going here soon. Uh, everything should be looking good. We had some people uh, having accidents and practice or qualifying. Hmm. Just going to hope I don't get run over. So I'm going to try to be patient. That's the end of the session. Seventh position. And, uh, all right, I'm ready. Going to have to be easy on the car and easy on myself because it's going to be some endurance racing. Are ready to go. One lap to green. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed. Gonna go ahead and start off with session 
last lap. <clears throat> try to hit consistent laps. Sorry, I'm gonna try to get my throat clear. Once I'm clear, I should be good. Six sets of tire, that's plenty. I hope so. Anyway. Really nice lap, David. 25 1 2 1 was the qualifying lap. That's pretty darn fast. That's two tenths faster than my best ever, which was during qualifying, so. We'll try our best to keep up. I think, uh, number five, Chandler Parsons, I think he is actually, uh, related in some way to the actual famous NASCAR Parson family name. Parsons family name. I could be wrong, though. I think I remember, uh, I think he likes streams. That's pretty cool. So I guess I should uh, try to pace myself on the commentary because I'm going to have to say a lot <laughs> during the course of this race. And uh, not going to be much... Not going to be much time to talk, I don't think, either, because this is another one of those tracks where you're kind of busy a lot of the time. Backstretch might be your only time to think for a moment. Because even on the front stretch here, you're kind of turning very kind of... It's an awkward front stretch, because you're... Yeah, I guess you would call it a trioval, rather. During the tri <laughs> but it's, like, weirdly shaped. It's lumpy, like the rock that it is, so... Seventh position. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Uh, reiterating again, this is the fixed series, so I can't blame my setup if uh, <laughs> if, I, if things go wrong. <laughs> five, you got me. Oh uh, yeah, I got. You. Oh, what's up, pal? Looks like a second gear start. I'm gonna leave some space. My favorite streamer. You know what I like that the five does? What's happening? <laughs> you know what my favorite activity is when I watch the stream? What is it? Is that what he wants? Like What? No comment. Okay, that was weird. Anyway. <laughs> good luck, everyone. There's a race happening. Bad to go. I'm just here for the safety rating. I absolutely hate these cars. <laughs> I'm just here for the SR. You got, you got a wild one. Good luck. Green, green, green. Go on the inside, my dude. Okay. It's gonna ease it in. And I'm gonna watch ahead, because these guys are side by side already. Oh, I forgot I gotta do the diamond thing. It's so uh unnatural to wanna have to do it that way, but it's fine. P eight. Okay, it's going a little harder than I want to from behind. So I might go and let him by. Inside. He's gonna let himself on by, I guess. Still inside. Clear inside. And yeah, they're zooming. Inside. They are not interested in safe tires, I guess. Clear inside. The leader has just done it. 25.8. The car ahead has just done it. 25.8. Tenth position. They seem like they are interested in going full pace. Maybe I'm just being dramatically slow. I don't know. Do that uh, diamond down a little bit. Let the banking carry me. See how that turns out. That lap time was 26.2. That's your quickest lap in this session. And get into a rhythm, because we're going to be here a while. I mean, ideally, we're going to be here a while. If we're not here for a while, it means something horribly wrong has happened. So, <laughs> ideally, we'll be here for a while. 17 says you're going too slow for me, buddy. 
sliding under me? I sound like he was skidding his tire. I'd be hitting the door. Fan of that. Things are going too fast for me right now. Faster than I want to be going. Clear inside. Car inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there. Hold your line. It's gonna stink to lose this track position, but keep high. Still inside. The next car is clear inside. Car inside. Clear inside. Oh, that guy got loose behind us off the corner. 13th place. See guys kind of taking that kind of wider thing like I was talking about. I do it in turns 3 and 4. For sure. Right up a little higher. Could probably even do it a little bit more and then get a... Go ahead and get on the gas. Mid to late corner. So that way I'm using the right rear. And plenty of rolling through the corner. Feels pretty good. And finally it looks like we're not just falling back, so... Maybe we can just hold steady here now. The guys who wanted to go a little faster did so, and then... Maybe they've settled in. I don't know. I was focusing on not turning my wheel too much. And uh, being slow enough when I enter the corner. And uh, we're taking some laps off. Very good to see that we didn't immediately get caution or anything. Because we would be here even longer if it's going to be under yellow a lot of the time. P13 is A-OK -okay with me. Especially at this point in the race. It's almost irrelevant because you've got so much more to do. Feels good to feel the car catch when I get kind of midway through the corner. Once I get on the throttle and it starts turning, that's a good feeling to have. So car, uh, so, so car, the far is feeling good. If you can decipher what I'm trying to say here. What's up, buddy? So car. Reading the magazine on the Will we have anyone falling off very early? I didn't see some people going pretty fast, but maybe they were just scrambling for the first couple of laps to get track position and then they go into tire save mode. Maybe that's the better way to do it. The lap time was at 27.3. But uh, I like kind of getting into the rhythm right from the start. And then we had the one little tiny door contact that might have even been my fault, I don't know. I thought I was, uh, ooh, that got a little loose. Uh, so, thought I was by the wall, maybe I was a little off the wall, I don't know, but obviously it really wasn't a big deal. Didn't affect anything. A little tiny door touch. Uh, uh, oh. So that guy got loose and looked like he got tagged from behind. I didn't mean to get into you, dude. Can someone answer this question? Like, how early do you have to break so I don't almost hit the wall in turn one? Basically, where you see the rock shine on uh, the inside or the outside wall. Yep, it's pretty good. That's a pretty good and indicator. Your guys' tires like scrub the whole time too on the turn or no? Gate ride's open. That's a trick, isn't it? I mean, you're gonna have some noise, but I'm not like tearing them apart or anything. If you see them laying down rubber in the corner, you're you're turning too hard. I can't even seem to get the tire to slow down and still make that first turn. Back it up. 
Just back it up. These are things you gotta do that. Everyone's coming in. It's pitting. All right. Okay. <laughs> you say so. Yeah, back up the biggest thing in this track. The be able to save tires. We'll need to stop again. We'll take them, I guess. Did you lower your brake bias? No, I never switched that at all. Box in a five. Drop it down to forty-two. Four. Three, two, one. Box now. What are the tires? Ninety-one, ninety-two. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to make it so it's like not. An Seems pretty early to me, but time. if this goes green, we're gonna win them. So. Plus everybody else came in, so yeah, it's not like we're going to be putting ourselves at any sort of disadvantage. And letting it roll. Okay, yeah, I dropped it down to 42, so we'll see how that... Imagine some people probably took two tires. They not going to mess with that yet. File. Have you ever driven these with 42%? No, I've actually never driven the car on like a non-super speedway. Oh. <laughs> With it being your first time in a race, I would bump it up a little bit just because it does take some getting used to being that low because one you're back and you don't want to kick out and you're going to be very loose, so you may want to be around like 46 or 48, and as you feel like you're going to get more dropping it back because going all the way down to 42 when I have another car and I could not figure it out for a while. Okay. Are we, uh, are we going to catch a field? Are we going to reach it? Okay. I wasn't sure, because it's one degree, and it felt like we were far back still. But Yeah, I, I couldn't hear you, Chris. I don't know if anyone else could, but... No, we couldn't. Yeah, I appreciate the advice, though, man. What are we doing? Yeah, I mean, if you make more than one, you make more than one, I don't want you to spin it out just because it's such a different feeling. Yeah, no, I just... Because he's indicating I that. Really so. that it's great. Green, I love green breaking focus. short track, but it's just it's hard to keep the A license. No worries, but the pace car is in. Green flag, weird green start. Flag. Very weird start. that low on the track. I meant to do the diamond thing, but it kind of just stuck. <laughs> Still tire saving. These guys are going for passes. I think so. Stay high, the low side. Three keeps uh, cutting me off in the corners. Sure, I can't buy him. I want to wreck him. Run out of tires, man. You should be able to drive right by him. It's a long race. I'm not trying to abuse him right away. Yeah, I'm with 15 here. They're crashing. They're crashing. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. I don't know what happened there. Didn't know if he was going to come off the wall, so... Being very careful, the guys behind me were ready to run me over, though. I don't know what happened to whoever spun me. Catch that four, car. All right. Well, we avoided that. So after that first pit stop, my right front was at eighty-one percent. Ooh, sixteen's overdriving it hard. Any anything from the guy who's strong? I mean, seem like there's unnecessary there. Eighty-one, not terrible. Mine was eighty-five, ninety on the right. Dang. Okay. I figured. I mean. So Apparently, I'm doing tire saving right. Uh, if these guys are on eighty-five, ninety. I can't believe how fast the tires go on this track. I can. <laughs> I think I was wearing mine just a little bit too much too, because uh, like I was right behind the seven the whole, for the first like six laps of the run, and there's so much air to push at this track in this car. 
arrow push? Is there though? Is it arrow push? I don't know about that. I'm not pitting. Yeah, my tires were 92, 92, 95. You have three sets of tires on your right side? <laughs> Assuming he's reading the top row or Six something. wheels. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, that burnt some because I just got spun out. Yeah, I'm feeling good with my 91, 92 on that you last round now. you tires there, Mark, or were you gas and go to? I took two. I'm going to not take tires this time, but yeah, I took two, and then, I don't know, 14 just kind of sent me into turn one. Okay, I thought uh, I thought you had gas and goes like me. That's why I was cutting down, was because I thought that you and I had similar speed. And uh, if I'd known you would have had two, I would have just I would have been uh, giving it to you like everyone else. No, you're fine. I like I said, I was mainly upset at being jumped in the turn for no reason. Hmm. So, we're yeah, surviving so far. I wanted to take tires at the start there, just oh, in case we had a big, long, green run. Uh, didn't have a... Alright. Uh, I didn't have quite a good sense of uh, how many wrecks we were going to be getting here, because it seemed like, at first run, we were pretty good for a while. So, I mean, we could have gone, like, 50 laps green or something. So the tires would have been nice to have, even with me saving well. That's 10% up. Uh, with those new tires, so I'd probably make that choice again, but you know, we'll have to keep an eye on the number of tires we got there. Do the tires will actually blow out in them? They're very chatty. Oh, yeah, they'll definitely blow out. You'll get a meatball and you'll have about three laps or so to, to get to pit road. If you pitted to take damage on the flash caution there, just check your we'll update and it'll tell you how much wear you have on your right. I didn't, I didn't do it. I thought about it, but I didn't. Serious accordion going on here. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, 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 green. I'm okay with having a little bit of space. I'm gonna slip, what, 25 now? Not in a hurry. Not in a hurry to get into the next track, that's for sure. Thankfully, it looks like the guys behind us are being patient as well. Even if I am probably being a little overdramatic with the tire saving, and they'll catch up to me. Corners are rocking and feel like a roller coaster. Because <laughs> uh, you just there's such how, so much banking and it's so bouncy. You've just done a twenty six point Feeling good though. I think you run over mid corner. Back there. I don't want to change the way I'm driving. Yeah, there goes my race. Damn it. So I'm doing what I believe is going to be best for me in the long run. I'm not going to change it because the guy's threatening to run into me because he doesn't know how to pass cleanly, potentially. So. Good luck, everyone else. Have a good night. Yeah, you do, man. Thanks for the advice. Appreciate it, dude. That sucks. Yeah, hopefully my race player this week go better. I was, like, saying, like, hey, I agree with his 
idea yeah, thanks for the <laughs> to be more patient. And then he gets run over, so that could easily be me. Thanks for the host. Thanks for the host. <laughs> Anyway, it looks like we're catching up the guys who are maybe burning up their tires. That 15 is a guy that I don't know if we were going to beat otherwise, because he was uh, the fastest time in practice, and he seemed to have a good approach, so... Well, that's uh, one person that the endurance race took out. Sideways there. Thank you. Exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, oh, that one's getting loose. Outside. It's scary. I can't control this car. Go low. Go low. Go low. Is he going to let me go because he made a mistake or is he going to fight it hard and kill our fucking tires? Ugh. I'm going to fight it. Keep low. Clear outside if you want it. Back into the rhythm. It's the rhythm of the night. Ooh, this car's getting real loose, actually. <laughs> maybe I'm, uh... Maybe I need to take it a little softer on exit. <laughs> I not expect it to feel so on ice there in the mid-corner like that. Be nice if I can control it though. If I can control that looseness, shouldn't be much of a problem. But uh, I have to keep an eye on how that's feeling. Especially like in turn two, there is where it starts getting kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I feel like it must be a different setup from whenever the uh, regular 87 series came here. Because I don't remember it feeling quite the same way. I could be wrong. I'm probably full of nonsense. It's probably just I'm driving it so differently. I feel like I'm saving tires much better than I did back then. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Stay high. And he's gonna fight it. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. You're in the top ten. Position. It's okay. Clear high side's inside. actually kind of viable if you have tires to deal with it. Here we go. Okay. Just gotta, hope, just gotta hope that guy's uh, behind. Don't run into me. I feel like I overdrove that one specifically though. That turn I overdrove. I think. Okay. Well, we got smoke. Something must have happened. Yeah, when I get on throttle, it's it's really rotating, which you know is good. If I don't fly too close to the sun. <laughs> Fun to drive. That's good. I'd rather drive a loose race car than something that's just gonna go in a straight line right into the wall. Did a little too low that time, I think. It's fine. Hey, we are in the top ten. That's cool. That was a twenty-seven point five. Really brought it to the high side there, probably a little too much. Using the brakes to get the angle in on turn in, like not even turning the wheel to get it down to the bottom on entry like that, that's all brakes. So, using the brakes to point me in the right direction on entry, like that, not turning the wheel basically at all, once I get on exit letting it turn with the throttle. So, it's just turning the wheel 
the steering wheel as little as possible. We get a long run. I think we're in good position because I think I'm doing a pretty decent job of saving tires. I can see some of these guys slowly falling off. Three, we're about to catch up to. See if we can find a way around him. Yep, a little too low that time for what I'm trying to run. Mm, sideways, we're good. Trying to wrangle this thing. <laughs> Ooh, green car up there is getting sideways. Have it under control though, it looks like, for the most part. A bit too high there. It's fine, we'll get a runoff. And smooth, still early. Don't need to push it too hard. Still head in the right direction. That lap was at 27.7. Yeah, it's getting sideways, so they're going a little slower at the moment. Ooh, ooh, that's three. Went in too hard. Got sideways. Had to check up for him a little bit. Break a little harder than I wanted to. It's a little scary. I'm watching him. Watching these guys. Outside. I'm going to pass him on the low side. Quite hit. A little bit of a slide on entry, but it kind of worked. Take it. Don't send it in again. B9. Thank you. Thought he was gonna try to peek to the inside again. Slow car down low. What happened? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, uh, I don't like this. Inside, you're up top, three wide. Right side, two wide. It's too early for anything too crazy here. Still there. <laughs> it's kind of four wide at Rocky Game. <laughs> This Please kind of like uh, I had a chat and you didn't tell us poked my head name, in tentatively. I don't know what you're doing. You, you mean, come on. Another wreck in back there. Caution, Man, right. my tires were feeling really good too. Pit road is closed. Twenty-four point five gallons. Pace car is out. Line up single file. Not gonna make enough fuel still, and we will need tires. As much as I took care of them, we will need them. We made some great forward progress there, though, but I'm just worried we're going to lose it again because the guys are going to go too hard off the start once more and fly past me. Road is now open. I think we really need a long run for me to uh, succeed here. So I, just, I don't feel like I have the same uh, short run speed as some of these guys. I just don't have the ability to do it too well. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. All right. 
That works. Pitting always scares me. Running into people and stuff. Dave, you good? Uh, somehow it allowed that. Uh, yeah, I had, like, no rear tires left, so as soon as I hit the brakes, it locked. Two tires. Is that a mistake? Maybe. But I feel like I did a good job saving tires, and two tires is usually a good idea in these cars, so... And we'll find out. I think it damaged my car doing that. <laughs> not not like hitting the wall. Hitting the wall is fine. 21, did they not take tires? Up and uh, jacked back down. Oh, they're going uh, now. It was making some noises. It was kind of funny. I was looking at my phone, and all of a sudden I hear a big uh -oh. boosh. <laughs> there you are, nose first. I feel lonely all of a sudden. Yeah, I, I was about out of uh, regular tire there. From, uh, I, I, I didn't take tires on the first stop. So what is the percentage where your tires will actually blow? Uh, it doesn't blow to zero. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I hit 71 on my right front that time, so... Was this a mistake? are open. Mm. I heard the uh, Wednesday afternoon race with the caution fest, so I figured uh, we might need all the sets of tires that we had, and then when that first caution came out on like lap 13 or something, I was like, yep, here we go. I'm on right sides only here, so uh, feel free to blow past me. I'll hold the line. How many spots you pick up doing that? Six? Something like that, yeah. Everyone behind 14th position. I do not know how to hold the line, so please be careful. I will let you by. So he's making a snide remark that wasn't worth it, but from my experience in this car, it seems like it usually doesn't matter. I just know they're going to pass me because they're faster than me, but... Get ready, going green. Oh, a lap car has just joined us. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, green flag, green flag. you're in first. You gotta use the clutch in these. You're leading. Car inside. Still inside. Clear. Car inside. It's focusing on holding Still a line here. Line. Clear inside. I thought track position would be nice, especially if tires aren't going to hurt me too bad when I don't have them on the left side. Just gets kind of old, getting a run over from behind. Whenever uh, you're on equal tires, here makes sense. But uh, car feels great to me. These guys are just faster than me. But it is pulling to the left, that's for sure. Gonna have to watch it. Like a looser race car is better. As far as I'm concerned. Two tires makes me looser then. Hey, two tires every day.
are slowly approaching from behind. Not exactly falling like a rock or anything. The gap to Rook 10 ahead is increasing. It's now 0.8. Oh, it Sixty or fifty-nine laps in on lap sixty. Found ourselves in fourth position using a little bit of strategy. We'll see if it brings us backward, or if uh, being able to save tires on the right sides will make us equal out, and uh, we'll happily take this track position to the bank. These three guys, I think, are on another level, though. They just got that extra speed, I think. I don't think there was any chance of ever uh, keeping up with them. Even if I were on, uh, if I were on better tires at the moment. Three's coming. A couple of guys back there. Maybe getting a little bit. It's uh, back to like not the number nine back there. Doesn't seem like they're gaining all that much. I think this will be a net gain. Unless something really goes wrong late in the run because of my left sides, but I don't think that's going to happen. But I've been wrong before. My wheel's not making too much noise. This track's bumpy. In these cars, you feel every little bump, so... you being kind of noisy. That was a 27.3. Too loose. Car inside. Keep high. Still there. Still there. Here it's gonna start getting interesting. Still inside. Clear. The next car is brown. A little weak off the corner there. I was being careful not to get into the wall. Car inside. Still there, inside. Clear. Letting him by here in a moment. He's got to get a better run than that, though.
On fuel, like I said, we will need to go get fuel again at some point. Here it comes. Car inside. Figured it'd probably send it. Keep high. Still there, inside. Still inside. Okay. Not bad, but not too bad. Little mid corner here. I'm about to get run over from behind because of it. Tough. Yeah, people getting real close. Diving on me a little bit. Still there, inside. Still there. Still there. D7. Your lap time was 27.9. Stay high. Uh, I guess it probably wasn't a good idea to take two, but uh, I wanted to try it now when the stakes are a little lower. Still there. See how well two tires hold up. Clear inside. Okay, so I think that guy got loose. That number, uh, was it the nine or something? You just that might got loose below. I uh, kind of just evened up to the same spot, though, honestly. I, I was in 7th, if I remember correctly, and I'm still in 7th now. Depending whether it was a good idea or not, I think it depends on how this run continues to go, but right now I feel like, honestly, it didn't even really matter too much, because <laughs> obviously I'm in the same spot as I was before. And uh, I did save a set of left side tires, but I don't know what good that's going to do me. One bonus is that I've learned how the car will feel on two tires and uh, I kind of have an idea of what that will feel like and information is valuable. So right now I'm leaning towards it probably didn't really matter but maybe even slightly it ends up being a good thing. I don't know, we'll see. The run's still going. Still feeling pretty loose. At least it's more fun to drive when it's loose. <laughs> I was hounding the number four. Right on his yeah. tail. Okay, Colton. 
Yeah, yeah. I would probably do the same thing if I were before. Just let him by. Oh, five is sliding though. He's drifting around the corner after the pass. Sent it in there a little too hard trying to make it through. He went lower high, man. Left off a little early because they're going to be side by side or they're going to connect. They are uh, racing a little hard for me right now. Control. Neil's trying to call off my desk. It's driving me crazy. Got sideways there for a second. That was not a good feeling. It's lower than I usually am there. Got it kind of sideways. Guess how I'm sitting or something, because the way I'm sitting now is making me pull the wheel off the desk. No, I don't need that right now. It's a byproduct of how hard I need to work this thing though. Okay. That was a 27 point Ooh, the four is really slow through the corner. They really missed their mark or something. Maybe they were nervous of this lap car. Sure. Sideways. Not what I want. Been <laughs> tearing chunks out of my desk, probably. Car inside. Keep high. Reckon. So after this run, I need it in the same spot with an extra set of tires and more knowledge. I'm going to say that's slightly a good decision, but ultimately uh, redundant. I wish I need to try to tighten this steering wheel because it is about to come off the desk here. Take four this time. The leader, Mains. We did our experiment. Watch your speed. We think we'll need to stop again. Hmm. Might be getting close on fuel. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. We are at 61.55 on the left sides. They evened out in the end. <laughs> the lefts and rights. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh oh, that's oh, some God. speeding. That's the first good stop I've ever had in these cars. I think mine is a 28. 7.5, that's too much to save. So we're going to have to come in again still. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So we got. We overtook someone from speeding. We had someone say they had bad stop. I don't know where they ended up though. Six points. Mm. All right. Feeling good. Six 
7.4 gallons. Hmm. So we'll see if we get another caution and and it's late enough to fill up that tank or if or if uh, we'll have to do a green stop at some point. I think I want this track position though. I'm too afraid of the guys back there overdriving and stuff. 19, you're definitely having some connection issues. I'm sure you know that. Right you're on the outside this time. Race the regime at the end of this lap. So we're back on fresh feet. None of these 50s and 60s. We're all at 100 now. Let's see if I remember how to drive it <laughs> at 100. Then again, I've been driving it pretty much the same way the whole time. Tire saving. So. We got some lap cars up here. That's always fun. See if I can keep my steering wheel on the desk. About to go green. Stay focused. So of course we're watching the outside car. They control the restart. The pace car is but I can't see them. Green flag, green flag. Decent jump. P6. Oh my gosh, this lap car is like in the way. I can feel all that grip now. Outside. You've just done a 27.5. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Clear outside. Have to use up some tires to get past the lap car. That's not my favorite, but got it done. Man, it really does feel different now. That's for sure. Back to try not to turn the wheel. Sixth place. You've just Thank done you. a twenty six point two. Yep. I think the 12 is probably going to catch us, that's fine. We'll let him by when he gets on to us. Well, we kind of gained on him there a little bit. Be patient on throttle as well. It's very tempting to gas it up more mid corner, but I think it's better not to, just to let it roll a little bit. It always feels wrong just letting the car roll because it feels like you're not doing anything. It feels like that's just going to make you slow, but sometimes the way to do it is to keep your feet off of every pedal. <laughs> so let it roll. Bit high there. Go. No. Consistency. That's going to be very important. Almost halfway. After all this. Almost halfway. Yeah, is that the drive right? Time was 26.5. What that? It looks like you're right above that. 
I think it's just because the way it looks on black cars. <laughs> it literally just looks. No, uh, it's, it's sparking everywhere. <laughs> it's probably just glitched. These guys will do a lot of sparking. Are you from Ryko? Do what? Never mind. Man. This conversation's not going anywhere. Yeah, probably good to just give up on it. <laughs> There's a lot of not understanding going on here. Your last lap time was at 26.9. So is the six going to let me by, or is he going to wreck in front of me? Car outside. He's going to let me by. All right. Nice. Yeah. Appreciate that, especially after you get sideways to let the, the lead left car by. We're still in sixth. Doing all right. I think we'll uh, make a habit of taking four tires until it gets closer to the end and maybe uh, try to get track position. Because uh, I think we are able to hold those spots for a decent while. Not the uh, lead lead guys, but you know, the. Uh, it took us a while to fall all the way back to 7th, so it does look like a reliable way and a shorter stint to get some track position. So, that was a good reconnaissance mission. <laughs> okay, we're halfway to the finish. Officially halfway, alright. We got some slide jobs going up on in front of us. That's interesting. I'm not sure what happened to the guy behind us. He fell off, I guess. Or I'm overdriving. One of those. One of those options. Six, that is a fascinating line. I was thinking the same thing. Everyone's talking about everyone else's line. Tell me you don't know how to be a lap car without telling me you don't know how to be a lap car. Oh boy. People are getting saucy on the mic. They're getting weird. They're getting usually not finger pointy. You've just done a twenty-seven point five. Imagine running GT class tomorrow. I will be Saturday. Well, good luck to you, man. I'm duoing tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Is that the 24 hour race? Yep. Well, I guess those 24 hour races are coming up. That should be fun. You're doing two different races, you're saying? I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because I don't have any friends. But <laughs> We're running as a duo, so just two guys. Always cool to see some uh, highlights from that event. It doesn't sound fun at all. It's cool iRacing does their own version of it. I got work on Saturday too, so... <laughs> We're running with, I'm running with three of the guys. I wanted to do that like prelim, like the a little mini event beforehand, the roar or whatever. Just it's not quite 24 hours, but kind of like a warm up kind of deal. Well, that should be fun. Where it was like a long race. I like the race. I know Nick well, did a, did one of those. Oh yeah, that's my favorite one of the year. Run the I wanted the I wanted to run the LMP, but my teammates went around to run the mm, GT. He's getting loose again. I don't like the way that thing drives. Hard to buy. Like a go kart. Yeah, the one that's running over all the underclass carts. Yep. Is it 12 coming back? I haven't been looking at that number. It might be coming back at us. I don't feel like the car's going away or anything. It was pretty consistent. I mean, Point, 0, point zero zero that lap. Get much last, more consistent than that. At least up. compared we with the lap before. Last year, so I have uh, been revoked of that duty. Maybe they're picking it up. Don't worry, that's probably a good thing. Pat, you said duty.
So, we're just logging laps now. It's good. We got some green flag laps. Why don't you get up here, 14? I'll let you fly. Please enjoy that. Getting a little tighter in turns one and two. I might have to back it down a little bit more on entry. Maybe I am overdriving it this run. It's all just about making sure I hit my marks. I'm like the person earlier in this race that hit the guy named Mark. Don't hit that mark. Preferably don't hit anybody. Oh, we get a lead change, huh? Heard that on the uh, crew chief. What's our fuel saying? 6.6 gallons. 6 .6 gallons, so they're going to need to come in. Of course, and that's not a surprise in any way. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go long. Because you do not want to get trapped a lap down in this series. A good way to do that is for caution to come out at the wrong time, so... We're just going to be uh, as nice as we can to the tires, go uh, pretty long, the lap time was at 27 .8. probably until we end up like basically in first place, <laughs> and then, uh, then we'll pit. When I pit, we'll probably have a lot to do with uh, when other guys pit. Ooh, we got a little bit hard on the brakes there. Fine. It did heat up that rear, though. I felt that on the gas, so that's going to make that corner slower. Just because uh, if I had smashed on the gas, I would have really uh, gotten loose. I'll let that cool a bit after I uh, enter a little bit too hard. Well, let's not overdrive it this time. I love that. Still didn't quite get the angle, but look at all this time we're going to gain on the exit. This is kind of looking like the spot we're going to end up in, to be honest, this sixth place. Because it, it just feels like the guys in front of me have it down a little bit better, and I think we can keep ahead of the guys behind us, so we might have found our spot, barring any uh, unpredictable circumstances, of course. Mistakes by me, mistakes by others. That sort of thing. But the gap behind is now 1.0 seconds. It was a weirdly good lap. Suddenly I was a tenth faster, I guess. That lap was at 27.7. Ooh, a little bit loose on exit. much to remark about at this point because you know these long races there's going to be long green run stints probably in most cases where you're just uh trying to be consistent uh the mark that got hit has left it sucks we'll see exactly what happened to him later in the incidents i assume that's uh if incidents work sometimes they don't There are going to be some incidents that we have to zoom through pretty fast, I think, given how long the race is. Kind of missing my marks here a little bit. I need to get focused again. Of 
14 it definitely looks like you're tiling down, man. Hmm. I'm kind of out of shape right now. I need to figure something out. I'm messing up uh, turns 1 and 2, and then here I just overdrove 3 and 4. <laughs> Fatigue, it's getting to me. The endurance racing. We can do this. Again, let's go through the corner. It's not that hard. Man, this 9's at <laughs> has reached me all of a sudden. Right from me making these dumb mistakes. Wow, he really came out of nowhere. Because it was the 12 that was behind me before, wasn't it? Now all of a sudden it's the 9 and he's right there. Let him by. I see he's flying. Well, he's patient about it. So just uh, run us over. You've just done a twenty-eight point zero. Sideways there. Gonna drive through it a little bit. You'll need to take care of your tires. Oh, uh, you can take care of your tires, he says. That's interesting. Guess it's been a long enough run. Gonna try to get us on the exit of two. Still there at the bottom. Still there. Fair enough. Come Come on, on then. Okay, well don't hit the wall in front of me though. You're gonna pass me. I'm assuming you're faster. V7. That was a 28.5. I see smoke. What does it mean? Never know. Caution, yellow oh flash boy. In single file. That Keep should ready. bring us to the end, end then. Ah, thank you. Banana bill strike again. Six. Every time I start Three having guns. fun. Y'all ruined it. It's making me a little angry. <laughs> no, that's the best thing that's ever happened. I was about two laps away to resolve that for Ace car is out. Pits are closed. Ace Yo, put the out. helmet on. Up single file behind car number nine. I knew that like, there was some reason you were talking to me earlier, and I couldn't figure it out. Thank you. So, People tires. Open. Taking four of them. Fuel. Six point two gallons. I was just taking the rest of it. It's all fun and good times here. I have fun racing with you. Good job, Flyla. So who wrecked for ninetieth? The leader, Mains, is pitting. Watch your speed. Oh, uh, I pits. believe that was the six. Put it to the end. I did not wreck. That was me. I didn't wreck for 90. I spun myself. I didn't touch another car. Box in. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Box now. Alright. I'm not pushing it all that hard on these entries to my pit box. Because uh, I'd rather lose a little bit of time 
gradually moving into the spot than uh, lose a bunch more. I'm drifting past it. Move it, move it. Almost got on a little too hard. Line up, Good though. Single file. These guys sorted out wherever they're supposed to be. Marcus, mm. how much you pay them? That was close to a penalty on that 12. Big bucks. I, I'm telling you, man, I gotta beat you once. What was that? I finished second probably like in like five or six years. <laughs> like Take out of there. Well, for once, they gave me a competitive time. So we had one person take zero, zero or two I mean, tires. I see like all time, like all the time spent on the road. I'm like two seconds quicker than Gary and you. At thirty-three oh, yeah. on the right front not there. Close. I did not do as well as the job. Not a good job. Same if tires there, so I need, need to refocus on that. By a large margin. Let's go back to what I was doing the first round. I think this time maybe I was uh. Turning the wheel a bit too much. Got to get back to turning it with the brakes and throttle. And trust that that'll bring me forward in the end and uh, not uh, overdriving it. Trying to do it all myself. Zero point one gallons. Zero point one gallons, it says. I'm definitely regretting taking those tires early. One lap to green. Line up on the oh, outside. Yeah, Bob. Security. Race will resume at the end of this lap. You got loads of fuel. I think we're fine on fuel. Zero point one. Like that thing. You might come up and be yeah. beneficial here soon. Uh, we ain't using three sets and seventy laps. Well, hell, I only got two sets. All right. Seventy laps or so to the finish here. See how it goes. Get ready, going green. The pace car is off. Be ready. Sixty. Yeah, you got green, green, green. Still finding there. I ain't here to race. All right, new tires. Lap car on the bottom, making me nervous. Gotta get by him. Inside 27.3. Still there, inside. Clear. Okay, got it done. Turn with brakes. The throttle. Don't hit the wall. Heck, <laughs> that was really close. Sticking it in there. P9, what's your best luck in the session? Got a car that's either on two or no tires on the outside. He was the guy that stayed out, I believe. So, or you know, he uh, just got fuel only or something. So, that's why I uh, want to be on this bottom lane here. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. 
don't take me three wide. Clear out. There we go. All right. I feel like I'm killing the tires right now, but doing what I have to do here. P8. A little snappy. We're good though. That line's worrying me, but we gonna blow a tire, Chief. How much I can do about that? Figure it out. That lap time was twenty-six point six. I don't know. I just I gotta I gotta try something. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep digging. Let him go. Ah. Make a focus time here. That last lap was at 26.7. Almost got the apron too much there. Stuck right now. In this line of cars. Didn't have the nose, but I mean, I don't think I had the nose. The car outside. Scared him up. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Oh, the apron. That was bad. Stay low. I did not uh, finish that one off. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Oh. I'm driving poorly right now. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Outside is clear. Had enough of that battle. Okay, buddy. That lap was at 27.4. That better be a lot. What the hell was that for, dude? He just had to pull that slide job. I tried to check up, just didn't think he'd be that slow. We just didn't have slide up in front of me. You turned down into me going into the entry of the corner, and then we both got sideways, and then you fucking dumped me. You kept trying to try dive bomb and couldn't hold the bottom. I'm sorry you slid up into me. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Ford's trying to get it done, but can't either. You hit me from behind, bro. Like, what are you talking about? I want to try to follow him through, but I don't even know if he's going to be able to pull it off either. And I did a little slide job there, I man. It's the only way you can get it done. <laughs> well, was getting a run on him again, though, because he got loose. Four with the block! Oh! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Whoa! Can you explain what that was, Tyler? Oh. That was a 28. All right. It's like a block to me, but hard to tell from my angle. So he's gonna go up there and wreck him now, I guess, because it's too hard to pass. Otherwise, so he has a good excuse to run in the back of him now. So I better watch out. I would have tried to move around him when he was slow from that, but uh, I was just right on his bumper. I wasn't going to make a, a dumb dive to the left or right, trying to make it past him or something. So I just checked up. Oh. 
This thing's getting loose. It's killing me. Got loose twice in that corner. So have to be more patient on the throttle. Oh, the four is going to send the 12 at some point. Overthrow it. I feel like I've really fallen apart this race. I don't have the endurance racing skill set yet or something. Because I feel like early on I was kind of doing okay. Force spinning. Oh my gosh, that was a, almost a full spin. Not gonna have the nose on though. You've just done a 27.6. Almost got the nose on, not quite. Passing has been uh, a real challenge. Twenty two looming in the background. Keep an eye on that in case he starts catching up. in there pretty hard that time. Okay, we're drifting on the exit of the corner. That's not how you want to do that. Hmm. It's kind of falling apart. <laughs> But if falling apart means I'm still in the top 10, hey, that's cool with me. I do feel like this 4 is falling off harder than I am, but I'm just, I'm struggling to find a way past. To like, take a higher line, and then cut down, maybe. Try to cut down, though, whenever the car wants to spin when you get on throttle. really become a handful. Before it takes the low entry, that was kind of weird. I don't know if we meant to do that. Ah, Jesus. It's driving me crazy, man. Anytime I feel like I'm about to get a run, then it's just the car. Hey, did you get an X from that? You ask me? Yeah, did you just hit that wheel? No, I didn't get any X or anything. You know what I'm talking about. Did you see that wheel that just hit you? It was a neck because I saw it, but it was on the apron. I mean, it came flying up the track, hit the outside wall, and then the 10 hit it, and it was flying in the air. Oh, yeah, I never even saw a wheel. Okay, so one of my disco was saying there was a red front or a red front all rolling down the racetrack. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's like the rally cross barriers. Not everybody sees them the same. Weird. Apparently I'm hitting phantom ghost tires. I think I just need to calm down for a little bit and run some uh, consistent laps instead of trying to pass the guy. Ooh, okay, well, maybe he wants me to pass him. No, <laughs> that was a weird corner for both of us. I 
I overdrove it a little bit. It looked like you overdrove it a lot of it. It's really burning up the rears. Is this the run? This is the run. Still there. Clear. Woo. So he let us pass there, I think. Can we get away from him, though? We gotta put some laps here together. And boy, is it not easy to put laps together. Fine on fuel. So no, no concern about that. That puts us into eighth position. Took like a billion laps to get past him, though. <laughs> so tough to pass. And uh, I think we only did it just because he uh, eventually let us go. Just trying to uh, be consistent then. I'm sweating hard. <laughs> Your last lap time was at 27.9. Trying not to slam on the throttle because that's been getting me loose. And that's not doing me any good. that I know we were up there with them for a while so the uh, four uh, got the contact just done regardless of whose fault it was it happened. and then the uh, 12 started running <laughs> about how the fact we might not even be able to make it on tires. Sorry, man. I think we'll get another caution, but uh, if we don't, I don't think I'm going to be the only one who's not able to make it. Okay. I'm not driving away from the four. Kind of just stuck in place, really going anywhere. You've just done a 27.9. Except for overdriving the corner, maybe. Yeah, we brought it back. Try doing a more exaggerated uh, diamond line. It didn't work there. Let's see if it works in one and two. One and two, that kind of works. 
We'll try doing that for a little bit in one and two. I didn't work at all. Never mind. <laughs> I wanted to try something. Not so much. But, uh... Seemed to work for a second. Oh, no! The 12 in the wall! It's gonna bring it back to us a little bit. That was, uh... Kind of held it on the brakes a little longer there. Kind of felt pretty good. We'll try that now a little bit. Ooh, 16 diving down low. I don't know if they got loose or if they were just being uh, dramatic about <laughs> letting us by. I don't know. Oh, it's falling off all of a sudden. Car outside. Is he trying to let us by? I don't know. I did not plan to be down here. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. You're in the middle, three wide. Hold your line, inside, two wide, clear, outside. I want to die after 173 laps, thanks. Still there. You guys scared the hell out of me. Clear high. That lap was at 29.0. <sighs> yeah, scared me too. Oh well. Driving it now. The wheel's coming off my desk because Thank I have to you. freak out that whenever that pretty wide thing happened. Thank you. I can't get my desk. My wheel back right. Driving sideways right now. <sighs> I just can't get it tight enough on my desk. There. Jesus. So if we do green flag, tested it, we're going to do right sides only. We know what it's going to feel like now. Left sides don't burn off as fast. And all that time we save was having only the... Ooh, only the right sides, I think, will outweigh any uh, pace we lose. I'm just waiting for it to be the only one that actually has to pit for tires. You've just done a 28.4. Hang spot, on to it, Mark. I killed it. I shouldn't have raised gears that hard. Tires are bad, though. I wouldn't be surprised if we're approaching. I'm just glad the battle stopped when it did, because it could have been bad for both of us. The guy for front. Well, it don't matter how hard zero. you go, you're still fucking fucking everything. Marcus had me push. We had a first. I feel like it's gonna be low soon. Yeah, like I said, it don't matter. If you push every lap, you're still gonna lack. <laughs> feeling like it's gonna blow now. Don't keep me honest in these cars. Rogers is gaining on you. The gap is now 0.4. That lap time was 28.8. I keep myself honest in the cup cars. Hitting in here. I wasn't trying to break test you there, uh, Marcus. I'm Low just uh, right trying to conserve right here. front. It's on, on the edge of the No, I'm, I'm not hitting in here. They Never mind. Single file. Pit road is closed right now, past the 22 car. 
that came just in time. Oh, I really needed that like three times ago. <laughs> yeah, it looked like your right rear was about to blow in like maybe three or four laps up top. Oh, I, 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 David, you have no idea. Like, I was trying to get my gear with everything I had. Yeah, I saw that. Wow, there it goes. There's the tire. You were going into the pit. Do it. Perfect timing for this caution. Honest guess, I think you're going to have under 10% on your right rear there. Just looking at how hard you uh, were wheeling that thing. I might not even catch the field before they get into the pits. I'm trying my best. I'm literally in sixth gear or fourth gear right now. Okay. Fuel. Box in a five. Four. Three. Two. One. Box now. So, zero twenty seven on the right side, sixty six sixty seven on the left side. I'm not doing two tires oh because God, I feel like yeah. we were out there I mean, too I'll long. I'll tell you guys, my right rear was at three. Damn, that was lower than I thought it was going to be. Okay, go. Marcus, what do you think mine was? You only have one right so I did okay, oh, same tires oh, early in the race. Oh no, speeding. Uh, yeah, we're going to go somewhere car. like 35. So we did good tire. Uh, Saving tires early in the race, but these later runs I've been <laughs> racing too hard. I just don't understand. I don't, I don't know. Stop and steer, clearly. Oh, dude, when I looked at the tires, I was like, man, we were good. I didn't want to see that caution. I had no idea how I had tire left. I thought Tyler was going to just gap me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if that was over, I, I highly doubt even, like, Tyler or any of them would call you. <laughs> Zero twenty-seven. I was, when you got loose coming off the two, I'm like, oh, he's done. That's it. Pack it up. Oh, uh, <laughs> dude, if we didn't get that yellow, I was bringing it to the trailer. That's a good point. Very fortunate oh, caution man. timing there. Yeah, it could not have been more, what, better for me. 15 laps? I mean, you were going hard. Well, let's do it again. Here we go. I just have to go now, I think. Hmm. Enough laps left to uh, worry about anything else but uh, going 100%. One it feels like coming off the, the gas. Okay, Colton, get ready. Really wish it wasn't right now, but sorry, it's probably making a bunch of noise. I'm trying to get it stuck on there better. I just been I've been working this wheel so hard this race. <laughs> Why do I always choose the hardest tracks to do endurance races at? Like, yeah, I'll do the NIS Darlington. Sure, I'll do winter and I ask Rockingham. <laughs> I mean, Rockingham's not the worst, but... Best time ever for a speeding ticket. It's not a mile and a half. Not one like you. We're back in seventh. Go figure. what? I said that's one like you to get a speeding ticket. Yeah, that's my first one to see, then. Okay, Great time for it. Stay focused. I'm confused. Why am I in the inside line here? Uh -oh. Guys, I don't know the rules. 184 laps in. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green flag. Green flag. Great jump. What? What's happening? Oh my Jesus! What are these lap cars? The car inside. This is ridiculous. Clear. Oh, get out of the way. Don't cut down in front of me. I will be upset. 
Sorry to be rude, but please get away from me. That lap time was 27.7. Oh, no. Okay, where are we? We're seventh still, I guess. Just a whole a deluge of lap cars. This guy's holding the bottom line. Get out of the way. Thank you. Car outside. Just in the race. Outside, clear. Oh boy. The leader has just done a 25.7. That's a new fastest lap for Brown. 25.6. That looks like to be fast. Just been driving on a popped tire, <laughs> essentially. Second back. Back up, D. Don't wreck, guys. Come on. Uh, I guess you didn't realize we were three wide on the bottom, and I threw it in on me. I figured you'd give us a lot more room than that, buddy. You reckon somebody against them, team? Yeah. We got grudges. Dude, you hit me three times before you caused that first cost, and then you caused the second cost, and then you ran over the six. Happens a lot in endurance races too, because there's plenty of time for guys to make each other mad. Over the track, everybody knows that. Car outside. The answer. Rogers behind his clear hide. I didn't run over no six. I wouldn't talk to you, Tony. <sighs> I was stuck in the middle there, Tony. I mean, I just so we got stuck in the middle. Uh, pretty bad by the flat cars, but I think the guys are probably gonna fight just faster than anybody. Be honest was. with you. Maybe they'll wreck each other. Yeah, it's uh, just wrecking it. It's all good. So, I think overall I have not figured out how to save tires on this car at this track yet, still. <laughs> I thought I had something, I, I swear, at the, at the beginning, but then lost it. I don't know. This might be our spot, and I'm totally okay with that as the number 10. Very, uh, presumably a very high strength field race. Don't know exactly what it is, but it's not low. Not low compared to what I see, anyway. I know there's like 5,000 strength of fields out there. It's not going to reach quite that, I'm pretty sure, but. Compared to what I'm normally seeing late at night. We're making contact up there. I don't know if it's with each other or the wall, but I saw a puff of smoke. The captain, Rogers, behind is now 1.9 seconds. I'm okay with having this room to breathe, though. I'd love to just be able to take this thing home clean. Where's the Rex, right? Yeah, I'm not running anything. They're fighting. Doing swervies. Swervy news. I'm just driving hard because I don't know how to save tires anyway. So what good is it going to do for me to go slower and also tear my tires? Actually catching up, but I think it's because they're stacking up on each other. I'm just following the 17, I won't pass Six it. laps to go. Let's finish this on a green. No stupid Don't green light checkers, please. It's an abomination that these things run green white checkers anyway. The world didn't exist. Get rid of it. All right, Colton. We're gaining on this car. The gap is 1.2 seconds. I'm guessing the four probably was going super hard from the start too. You got five left to go. Oh, that a little too much. It's weirdly low there. Oh, I missed my marks that lap. Holy cow. Three tenths down the drain, just like that.
Or it's getting loose. You've seen that before. B4. 4. I might actually catch him. You've just done a 27.2. And we're catching fast, actually. What's happening? And I'm trying to go fast, and I'm probably saving my tires better than I would otherwise. Two laps remaining. That was a probably just overthink everything all the time. Last lap. Mm, can we make the pass? I'm not going to kill him for it. I tried. Good win. I tried. I tried. Seventh position. That's Thanks for nobody right. hitting me for 200 right. laps. Oh my god, it's over. I got what I came here right. for. Oh my god, we got really seventh. Well. That's awesome. <laughs> Good win, number one. All right. Ooh, what a race! And my wheel almost just barely hang on. Wow. Great battling with the, uh, it was a 7, right? No, the 4. That was great battling with the 4 there. 7's where I finished and where I started. After all that, all those ups and downs, I just ended up right where I started. <laughs> that happens a lot to me. Um, but I did better than what I was uh, predicted, so that doesn't always happen. So, <laughs> there's that. Uh, let me get a drink real quick. It's been a minute since I was able to do that. Alright, that short little stint at the end tore off the tires that bad, but uh, it almost paid off. We almost were uh, able to uh, catch the four. And uh, I kind of see other people's brakes squirreling, but not mine. Pretty good there. Alright, let's see the incidents. We'll go ahead and get started right away because it's going to be a pretty lengthy one. So we'll have to go a little faster probably through these. Because of... Uh, Wall hits and things. Up two, it looks like the eight. Ooh, just giving a, tump, a tap to the back. We Sick actually didn't even touch on my screen 20. <laughs> three cars that are really freaking tight. Spot. Is the eight going to hit the 17 yet again? No, the 17 gets loose. Okay, I remember that. That was our first caution. It does a great job, though, of locking it down, preventing any damage. Stepping on the restart here, they're bunching up. The 14 runs into the back of the 6 because they accordion. Still the restart, I think. Oof, right into that wall. Uh oh. This is that 14. It's running over the 15. Like I said, I think the 15 probably would have finished ahead of us had he not get, gotten taken out, so. Let's just look at that. It looked like the 14 just being way too aggressive for this part of the race. So he gets a run on him, and he's like, I'm going to take it three wide, lap 20. I don't care that we're 10% through the race, and then he just straight up runs into him. It's, <laughs> it's just way too aggressive. At least he didn't get away with it scot-free, but sucks for the Domino's 15. It's like the 14 hit his mark. Oh. Oh no, that's a that's a rough one. Okay, so 15 actually was still out. 
But he, he clips the apron. That sucks. I wonder if his car, something was weird with his car's steering after, uh, after his initial contact or something. Fourteen wrecking more people. Who is this guy? So I know to avoid his name whenever possible. Okay. Noted. What's happening here? Nothing? A lot of nothing. Is this wall center of corner? Or? No, I think these are tires hitting critical points. Because this is about 40 something laps in. That other one was a blink out. This is a restart, looks like. The 8. Not the first time he's run into the back of someone. Man. It's rough. They kind of do it like a synchronized spin there. Try to. Re I'm going to remember that lap. That might end up being the thumbnail. <laughs> the synchronized spinning. I oh, will see. 12. Pretending to hit the wall. On exit. That's blinking. 21. I don't think we've seen anything from him yet. What's going on? It's going pretty slow. Maybe his tire's blowing or something. I don't know. Blinking. 14. Now causing problems for his self. Himself, right? Hmm. Number two, iRacing employee, just uh, barely touching the entry. Now uh, to even it out, I guess. Well, I was going to say he's hitting the wall on exit, but he did not. Just got close. This 21 doesn't seem to be doing anything. Just blew off pace. What's going on? Something going to happen at 21 here. Just kept letting lead li uh, lap guys by. Nope. 14, what you up to? Nothing. Okay. Let's see what these... Uh-oh. What happened? Looks like a self-spin. Yep. Just got in there a little hard, I guess. Backed it up into the wall. Does anyone else get caught up in it? Whoa! Almost the 13. What was, uh, what was this guy's path through this? Yikes. So that's the one, uh, 87. Okay, so that was about halfway. Don't know why we're seeing stuff under caution. That's gonna be a tiny bit of the wall. Those guys up front were really fast. Go figure. It's not often the guys that are really fast are not in the front. That kind of would just make sense, huh? Alright, skipping along. Looks like 14 hit the wall. Six has had a rough race. 14 on the wall and a tree just a tiny bit. Here's me, what I do? I overdrove it a little bit by accident and slid a bit, but... Not too bad. We're driving in there hard. Skippity doo. Skipping on through. Contact. Nope. Ooh, crossover though, maybe? Wow, they're swapping spots. What a race. What was the uh, final distance? It was only separated by 1.4. That's not too bad. Got 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 4. And then me in the 10. Highest, uh, highest finishing 
double digit car number. I can find an award to give myself. It's me, presumably, ripping the tires off, I guess. Control winner, knowing how to drive this track. Six drifting. The troubles continue. Caution somehow. Maybe he got sideways enough that that counted as a caution. But uh, we got some restart action. Here in our race review. Blinking. Going in the corner is the 8 who's running everyone over. Gonna run him over. Yes, he is. You know what? I didn't see anything. Because that 17's been hit by that 8 about 3 or 4 times this race. Is that the right way to do it? Nah, probably not. But I didn't see anything. Someone else can go ahead and phone that one in if they have a problem. 17 looks like they got... Karma anyway. Why they're driving up into the middle of the track, that's kind of not cool, but... When he overdrives, probably because he was looking in his rear view mirror. Ooh, he overdrives it real hard. Third place is going to be baby tap on entry, not even. Oh, shoot, I thought this guy was going to blink out because he, blink he uh, was blinking earlier, but it looks like he actually uh, gets into a bit of a... Get some damage here. So he's spinning and just never was able to catch it. It looks like one of those spins that just uh, you're along for the ride. So his tire is basically off. I got. Hmm. Thought I saw something there a second ago, but. Looked like just a light tap, someone getting loose. More uh, just barely little wall taps. A little faster. We're almost done though. We got uh, lap 162. We're starting to get lots of updates. I think tires are probably getting pretty bad at this point. I know I was basically at 0%. I got absolutely bailed out by that caution. So this is all updates on people's tires, I assume. Eights though. He's getting up into the wall. That looks like it might have even broken something. Got a lot of sparks there for a second. Warren had some good battles during this race. He probably hates me. He probably could have been. <laughs> he probably could have made it. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I probably held him back, to be honest, fighting him so much. I mean, he maybe hates me, but <laughs> I thought it was good racing. Speeding along because a lot of these are just nothing. 14. Not even in the wall. Is this 13 going to run into the back of the 11? No. Everyone's tires are just totally shot at this point. Oh, there's that three wide moment. Well, I, uh, I appreciate the 22 not running into the back of me. You kind of have to, if you see three, three wide, you have to know that they're going to potentially be really slow through the corner. So, you see it's happening. I would have preferred not to be three wide as well, but... I mean, I just, uh... Got the nose on this guy that I had been trying to pass. And I was pushing real bad, so I couldn't get on the gas too hard. But the four went through it, so he's like, I'm just gonna take both these spots. And I just back out because I want to live. And the 22 uh, is surprised, but... Maybe shouldn't have been surprised that we were so slow. Three wide with totally worn tires. 173 laps into the race. Scooping our way through. It's up there in the wall. Then 
I didn't do anything. I don't think I got in the wall this race, did I? Maybe once or twice, with little taps or something, but I feel like I was pretty, uh, pretty good on that. It's 12 knots raining at all. He might have a blown tire. He might have been saved by the caution as well. I'm going to find out here soon what the caution was. Hey, those sparks, that's making me wonder if they blew a tire. Or at least are very, very close. 12's blown a tire, it looks like. Look at that thing just not turn at all. Yeah, that's a blown tire. So they hit 0%. And your caution is a familiar face. I mean, it helped me. Oh, I didn't see that. That's embarrassing. Why are we seeing me? Oh, because my tire's blown at this point. This is that's right. That's me trying to catch back up to the field with my blown tire. I'm hobbling. Entry. These guys are so precise. Looks like they had a great race battling for the win. Wait a minute. Oh, he was in first for one point? He must have taken two tires. Or something. Ooh, there are three. That must be why I caught up to him so hard. He was on two tires, I think. Oh no, what was that back there? This could have been another caution. Oh, they're three wide. Twenty probably could have left a little more room. And then they looked like they would have been okay if it wasn't for prediction code. There's the four falling off. He was getting loose already. And then he's uh, taking two tires, so... Well, he, he can hold on to it, though. Because he didn't spin. And then number two, just trying to get every little bit out of it, looks like. And uh, it's because it was the last lap. He's doing everything he could. And then uh, this is after the race is over. I guess he decided to do another lap or something, I don't know. Weird. Anyway, that's all that, and that is all 200 laps of the Winter NIS Fixed Race at Rockingham. I'm pretty happy with my 7th start, 7th finish <laughs> as the number 10. Presumably a very strong field. Got some uh, big names in here. Finished a couple spots higher than predicted, so very happy with that in my 0x. Didn't wreck anyone. Always a plus. And uh, thank you so much if you stuck it out and uh, watched the whole thing. Um, even if you skip through, I appreciate that as well. I know uh, even at least the cautions and stuff. It's a lot to ask <laughs> to sit through those. So uh, thanks for stopping by and watching how the race went. Um, pretty fun stuff, if not a, a huge handful. <laughs> it's uh, it was it was a good stuff. I enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.